so I have my copy of my paper here, my page 21. And then I'm going to set down my transparent mirror on this line. And I think you can see it's pretty faint, but I think you can see these lines being reflected and even the eye right here and the candle right here. And then what you do is you come in here. You have to look obviously from the front side and just sketch these lines. I'm not using a ruler. You might want to. So that when you take it off, you can see these are what really happens with the light rays. They hit the mirror, bounce off into your eye. But your eye perceives as though there's an image behind the mirror um, just putting its light, reflecting or reflecting the light rays out into your eye. So that is what I want you to see. Yes, it is still upright. It is a plain mirror. Um, so that the images are never reversed and they are not enlarged or diminished. So I have these polarized filters. If you stack them on top of each other, you can see through them perfectly. I like the fact that they're rectangular because you can kind of pay attention to the orientation. But if you twist them, you cannot see through them. See that? Go that way. I'll keep going the same clockwise. You can barely, if you really squint or if you hold it right up to your eye, you can definitely see through it a little bit like that. You don't need to buy those. You can just get some sunglasses that are polarized. Here I have some little clip-ons, different tints in them, but they are polarized. So you can see through them fine if they're stacked, but then if I rotate 90 degrees, it takes away, it completely blacks out. And you don't even need to buy them. You can just go to the store and find some polarized lenses on a display and try it for yourself. So here you can see my computer screen and here's the filter. Read it fine. However, if you turn it, it's completely blocked, which means the light coming off of the screen is polarized and it's polarized in this direction. And they did that on purpose so that if you happen to be wearing sunglasses that are oriented like this, you have to turn your head completely sideways in order not to be able to read your screen. Um, here's those 3D, here's a pair of 3D glasses and watch what happens here. So if I tilt it this way, that one's black. But if I tilt it this way, that one's black. So they're on the diagonal. However, um, they're opposite. And that is how you get to see 3D. So each eye is going to see a slightly, a, a completely different um, image. These are more typical if you go to a 3D show today. And these are not, it's not as, um, it's more complicated. See the yellow and the blue? There's definitely something going on there, but it's not as simple. It's a more complicated level of polarization um, to split the image for your eye. And I have a vase of water. I'm looking at it from above, and it has a little bit of skim milk in it. Try a laser pointer here. Okay, so look here. Why can't you see the laser between here and here? The laser's on. You can see the little red dot here. Why can't you see it here? And what's going on here? If the light's coming out here, 
Lasers move in straight lines. Why does it bend here? And then the other question is, why doesn't it bend here? Now I've got two lasers, I'm holding them right next to each other, so I hope you can see they're parallel. The light coming out should be parallel, but are they parallel here? Look at that. What's the difference between here and here? And would you say that this lens, or this vase is acting like a lens? And if so, what kind of lens? Is it a converging or diverging? Is it a concave or convex? Think about all of those things for a minute. Now I've swapped out the round vase for a square one. So these sides are completely flat and straight. Let's see what happens with the laser light here. Bending or not bending? I'm going to show you this one. You may or may not notice. So here's the light coming out there. Can you see it's bent just ever so slightly? Let's see if I can do it again here. Let me try this one. Let's try this one and see. There, that's more obvious. So this is the line of the laser here, and yet when it gets into the water, it bends. It bends right there. It's still straight, but it bends right when it enters the water. This reflection you're seeing is called total internal reflection. If you've ever looked inside of a fish tank and noticed it looks like a mirror sometimes, certain faces, that's what's going on there. Now I've got another container. This is just a plastic little dish that's shaped just like this D, and it is made just for this demonstration. So now we have a curved side and a straight side, but you don't need something quite this elaborate. You can certainly just use, like we have before, the straight, um, the circular or the straight sided. You don't have to have them combined. It shows one or two kind of interesting things here. Again, straight through, is it bending? Is it reflecting? coming through here and then it's bending again when it leaves the um, water it bends again you're seeing it these little reflections here it's hitting this um, foam that it's sitting on you normally can't see light from the side so all the movies you see where it shows lasers or lights from the side flashlights um, they've generally put that those in afterwards in some kind of special effect or CGI it's a good thing we can't see light from the side or it'd be pretty difficult. So, converging or diverging? Concave or convex?
And that's it.